Hi, I'm Rich Funky with an update on the 2016 legislative session, which ended late last week. Like so many things in Albany, the process was far from perfect. But I do believe we are leaving the Capitol having delivered on many of our region's top priorities. Earlier this year, we passed a state budget that cuts taxes for the middle class to the tune of $4.2 billion. It also supports initiatives to help local employers grow jobs and fully funds our district's top priorities, including education, infrastructure, and public safety. By the end of the session, we secured ethics reform to go along with it, which will strip corrupt officials of their taxpayer-funded pensions, scale back the influence of money in politics, and increase transparency and accountability in our government. In fact, our five-point package includes full pension forfeiture for politicians convicted of corruption, the nation's strongest independent expenditure reforms to end unethical coordination in political campaigns, new disclosure requirements for political consultants, reforms that will require increased disclosures for lobbyists, and new standards governing those who advocate on behalf of special issues or interests. Is it perfect? No. I was aiming for term limits and other common sense reforms, but I do believe that any progress is good progress when it comes to cleaning up Albany. This package delivers that progress in ways we needed it most. We didn't stop with ethics reform either. After Senator Joe Robach and I recently worked across the aisle to produce a report on zombie homes in our region, we took legislative action to speed up the intervention process and prevent these properties from dragging down the neighborhoods around them. After several school districts in our region found elevated levels of lead in drinking water, we delivered the nation's first statewide legislation to require regular testing in all schools. As a member of the Heroin Opiate Task Force, we held hearings throughout the state to learn all we could about the epidemic that has taken so many lives, and then took legislative action to enhance treatment, insurance coverage, and wraparound services. We also secured over $500 million for affordable and supportive housing projects, which will help get our homeless off the street, while better protecting taxpayers. And as far as legislation I worked on, I'm especially grateful to have had meaningful bills passed in both houses this year, including the first increase in total disability pay for volunteer firefighters since 1998, and our program to move fresh produce from farms to those in need. Despite those accomplishments, I'm frustrated that some New York City politicians killed Uber and Lyft for Upstate by rejecting the Senate's common sense solution. Allowing ride sharing would have created jobs, enhanced transit options, and made the roads safer for all of us. I also wish the State Assembly had passed the Senate's Workforce Development Package, which was the result of our work through the Task Force on Workforce Development. It would have invested in job training and skills-based education to connect more workers with good-paying jobs in our region. So I'm going to be fighting for these priorities and more again next year. The legislative session may be over, but our work on behalf of the residents of Monroe and Ontario counties continues each and every day. Whether it's working to cut taxes, grow jobs, or enhance our quality of life, it's an honor and a privilege to represent you and to work with you. We'll never stop working to make Albany work better for all of us. Enjoy your week. I'm Senator Rich Funky.